Two-factor authentication is one of the easiest ways to level up the security of your online accounts. While it may be tempting to rely on SMS codes sent to your phone number, this is actually the weakest form of two-factor authentication available. The best method is to set up an authenticator app. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up Google Authenticator. But why Google Authenticator? Is there anything special about it over other options like Microsoft Authenticator or Authy? Well, Google Authenticator is regarded as the most popular option, but there's really nothing special about it. The process of setting up app-based two-factor authentication is pretty much the same for any authenticator app. In fact, I'm going to show you an even more secure authenticator app later in this video. So to get started with Google Authenticator, you'll want to first download it from the App Store or Play Store. Open the app and tap Get Started. You have the choice of continuing with your Google account if you want to sync the codes between devices, or if that's not something you're comfortable with and you prefer them to be stored on your device, you can select Use Authenticator Without an Account. There are pros and cons to each choice, but I'm generally against the idea of allowing Google to sync my codes using my Google account. I don't like the idea that if my Google account gets compromised, someone suddenly has access to all of my two-factor codes. I'm going to continue without an account, but I'll show you a secure your way to sync your two-factor codes later. Next, you want to navigate to a website that supports app-based two-factor authentication. If you're not sure which websites support this form of 2FA, you can try searching that site on 2FA directory. This is a free resource that tells you exactly which forms of 2FA a site supports. Another free resource you can take advantage of is that subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when I release new videos. When you've selected an account to set up two-factor authentication, authentication, look in the account security section of the account settings page. You'll typically find the option to set up 2FA in the same section where you would change your password. I'm using Porkbun in today's example, so I'm going to go to the account settings and then scroll down until I see app-based 2FA. Flip the switch to enable app-based 2FA and select OK, and then it will display a QR code on the screen. This QR code is a standard part of the setup process for app-based 2FA, so if you get to this part of the process, process on whatever account you're using, you're on the right track. Next, open Google Authenticator and select add a code. You'll then select the option to scan a QR code and point your camera at the QR code on your screen. After Google Authenticator scans the QR code, you should instantly see a six digit code in the app. You can enter that into the account right here and it does change every 30 seconds, so keep that in mind and then click submit. You've successfully set up 2FA with Google Authenticator. Depending on the sites, some websites may give you one-time security codes that you can use as a backup in the event you lose access to your Authenticator app. We can see right here in Porkbun, they are giving us some of these codes that we can use just in case we get locked out. Now, you could write these codes on a piece of paper and store them in a safe, or you could put them in a note on your phone, but I would highly advise against this. It's important to protect these codes, but also make them convenient to access, and the best solution is to keep them in a password manager. One of the best password managers out there is Keeper, and they've been kind enough to sponsor today's video. Keeper securely stores your passwords, credit card numbers, notes, and other sensitive personal information. And you can autofill passwords with Keeper Fill. So in Instead of using the same password on every site, you can use unique, randomly generated passwords on each site without ever having to type it or copy and paste it. It's a great way to store those backup codes generated by Porkbun, but actually, Keeper also works as its own authenticator app. Instead of using Google Authenticator for your app-based two-factor authentication, you can let Keeper generate the codes. This allows Keeper to autofill the codes when you log in, just like it autofills a password. And the setup process is virtually identical to Google Authenticator. Keeper stores your vault securely on their servers with the strongest encryption available, so you can access your passwords and two-factor authentication codes from any device. Don't get me wrong, you could sync your two-factor codes between devices with Google Authenticator, but Google relies on your Google account to sync your data. I think this is a notable security risk, as Google accounts are a huge target for hackers, and Keeper's entire mission as a company is to protect your data. But even if you'd rather stick to Google Authenticator, you still need a 
password manager. Right now, you can get 50% off Keeper with promo code Crayler50. So go to the link in the description to get started. Thanks to Keeper for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to give it a try if you're ready to level up your security. So that's the process of setting up AppBase 2FA and Google Authenticator. As you can see, it's not as intimidating as it may seem initially. The most important thing is to have a backup plan. If you choose not to sync 2FA codes between devices, do you have backup codes in the event that you lose the device where the 2FA codes are generated? And if you have backup codes, what is your secure method to store them? One option you could explore to increase your account security even more would be to use a physical security key. I use security keys from YubiKey, and instead of using AppBase 2FA, I just plug in my security key and tap it to verify that I am who I say I am. Sadly, physical security keys are not supported by nearly as many sites as AppBase 2FA, but it is the most secure method of two-factor authentication. You can use a security key to protect your password manager, and this makes accessing your passwords and 2FA codes that much more secure. Setting up two-factor authentication is a great first step to securing your digital life, but the truth is your internet service provider and public Wi-Fi networks can still see every website you visit. If you want to level up your privacy, you need to use a VPN. I compared the top VPNs to find the best one for each use case, and you can check out that video here.